Hi YouTube. Uh, just want to do a video showing off how I customize my customize my Android device to look just a bit different from the typical ones. Um, so let's get started. I'm just gonna turn it on here. This is my lock screen. Um, I haven't really done anything with it because I really really like the HTC home screen. Uh, it has the weather and has the quick shortcuts, which you know it's very nice, especially the flashlight shortcut. You know sometimes you want to access it right away. So that's useful. So I'm going to unlock it. And so this is usually what you get from a typical HTC device. You get your HTC Sense 3 uh, home screen with uh, these 3D scrolling effects. Uh, I have a Desire HD, which uh, didn't come with HTC Sense 3.0, but I've, you know, I've gone to XDA and flashed the latest one available. It's pretty smooth, as you can see, and I mean, I do like their widgets, you know, they have nice animations, it's fun, and it's easy to use, uh, but sometimes you do get, uh, you, you do get a little bit bored with Android, uh, because with a lot, there's a lot of customizations out there where basically you're just changing your home screen, your widgets, and your wallpaper, so I'm just going to show you how I've done things a little bit different with, um, with Launcher Pro, basically. Okay, I'm gonna press home, and this is uh, my home screen with Launcher Pro. Um, it's hard to see the text, so I'm gonna change the wallpaper. So I use a live wallpaper called Multi Picture Live Wallpaper. Let me show you here. Here it is. Apply, and. Basically, this 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 wallpaper allows you to choose from a cert, uh, gallery of pictures for each home screen. Now I have three different home screens set up: my main screen, my screen on the right for productivity, and screen on the left for social media and social and multimedia. Um, but and I have the animation set up so that it's not sliding left or right. It looks like it's just um, I'm just flipping through home screens, you know. Uh, so that's a bit different from what you usually expect from Android. Now on the left here, I have these navigation bars that are that basically links to different folders and quick shortcuts. So for example, on the top left, I have my battery uh, percentage and my and ba basically battery stats. If I click into it, I I go to I'm brought to the default uh, Android battery usage app. If I click on the weather on the bottom here, I'm brought to the HTC weather. And I mean, I like the HTC Weather app because it's nice animations. It tells me what I want to know, even with the hourly forecast, which I, I actually use pretty often, and the five-day forecast. Okay, and then on the bottom here, I have Quick Picks, which are basically um, apps I use the most, uh, in addition to, of course, uh, my dock bar. Now I have two two slides for my dock bar. Um, here's the here's the app drawer. I have Maps, Internet Explorer, uh, SMS, Phone, Market, Gmail, uh, my IM, in some messengers, and my Quick Contacts. So I mean, I just have one clock here, so that's this looks very clean. Uh, it's not not cluttered. If I flip to the left, I have I have a social social feed widget from Launcher Pro, and if I click on Friends, I'm brought back to the HCC Friend Stream. And I do use the HTC Frame Stream sometimes because uh, I like the feature where you can just just show your uh, notifications and just the picture updates. Because sometimes you just want to browse through the uh, the picture updates. Um, and then on the left, I have a shortcut to to the folder social networking, uh, multimedia folder, and games. A lot of games here. If I flip left, so I have an infinite loop with the um, the home screen, so I can just keep flipping. So this one I have tools, uh, internet, and base and Android uh, type apps. So basically system apps that uh, augment the functional functionality of the device. And I have the Launcher Pro widgets here. Um, you can go to agenda or or calendar. And this is an app called Do Today, and it does it does have a transparent background option, so it fits right in with the uh, the skin of the Launcher Pro uh, widgets. 
Okay, and if I keep flipping, and also if I click on the clock, I'm blocked with HTC clock, which I, I found to be very useful, um, especially the stopwatch and and the alarms, um, and the times. Actually, I've used this app more often than, than I thought I would use it for. Okay, and basically, um, I guess, well, how I've done this, uh, made this possible is, is a combination of four, four things. The first one is you see is Launcher Pro. Second one is multi picture uh, wall wallpaper. Third one is folder organizer and that's that's where these folders come from. Uh, folder organizer is an app that I've been using for a long time. Uh, let you categorize, uh, let you um, make these labels uh, or, or folders and it, it will remember it and you can back it up and so if you switch device uh, or switch home screen, switch launchers, um, you can always retain your uh, your your folders basically because what happened before was I keep switching ROMs and home screens that I would always have to create new folders each time but this keeps it you know so I've you know I don't know, know how long I've kept with these uh, uh, this current setup here um, so this is very useful and plus you can create a, a shortcut uh, to just the folder itself and which which allows third-party third-party apps like this uh, like this uh, navigation bar here to link to the folders. Uh, the fourth app uh, is something called is the widgets here called minimalistic widgets. So this is not actually a an an app that lets you add navigation bar. It's a widget called uh, minimalistic text. Actually, and wait for it to show up. Uh, and you get a whole a lot of different sizes minimalistic text and you know, it's basically a widget that has text. You know, and you have different options here that allows you to customize what you, the layout. So there's some standard ones: time, date, uh, battery. So let's just choose a uh, date here and press OK. You'll see that you know this is a widget, and basically what I do is I just stack them on the left, and you can choose. You know, you can choose to launch different things when you click on the widget. And I think it's uh, start another activity here, and then you know you load up all the uh, the, sh the app shortcuts or the the activities or the shortcuts that you can uh, you want to launch, and so so that's how I managed to get um, my folders to launch with these navigation bars. Uh, if it ever shows, I would have way too much stuff here. Okay, see, fold, launch, I can launch a folder link, and go to contacts, then press OK. And that's it. So if I click on it, it launch my contacts. Delete it. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, this is my home screen. I've been using it for uh, quite a while now. It's kind of refreshed my interest in Android. Uh, I've been dabbling around with Windows Phone 7 and iOS for a while. Uh, but, you know, I always come back to Android because it really has the most functionality. Uh, and now with this um, new look, it looks like I have a new phone. And it's very fast, you know. I mean, look look how fast I'm scrolling. I mean, which is something rare, I think, especially with HTC Sense, you don't really get that uh, speed, right? And double tap and switch wallpapers. Okay, so uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you around.